Good morning guys. About six o'clock. About to head for the morning drive. Rained also pretty much the whole night. Not as bad as the night before, but we'll head out for the morning drive to Māori Sidrai or something like that. So we'll head south instead of north where we went yesterday. Oh, time to make a coffee and then hit the road. Okay, looks like we're about to go for a drive, but big storm clouds on the way. Yeah. Just I waiting the for the permit the so we can Notice. leave the camp. So even Joseph would be your plan. Fine, in the ranger. How beautiful is this place? The juvenile pale chanting, isn't it? So, this is the Māori Sakhat waterhole, and in Kalahari, it's advised that you do this: you park off, and you just uh, chill at the waterhole and see what comes to the waterhole to drink. Although it's been raining the last two days, so there's probably water in the felt, but still good to relax in the morning at one of these waterholes. One chem's box just stopped there. Mm. A lot to do. I mean, if you look 10 years ago with rosacea, yeah, there's an adult comes out here. Yeah, maybe I'm gonna head to the other people's campsite to care her a bit. Lovely sun's come out, nice and warm. This is where the other people are staying, campsite number six. And oh. into the oak scotch, but I can't, yeah. I, I can't share it. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so back at the camp, just been relaxing the rest of the morning. Um, didn't even have breakfast because I've just pretty much been snacking. But Art, my uncle, is um, doing a poiki for tonight, a nice lamb poiki. So luckily my girlfriend Rachel and I don't have to prepare anything for dinner. So yeah, just been relaxing. Tomorrow we have to go to um, this other rest camp called Kharahab, but we're not actually allowed to take a trailer there. So what I'm gonna do is remove all the stuff that I need from our trailer. We leave the trailers here at Nosob, and then we head up, because apparently it's a hectic four by four trail. I don't think it is. I just wanted to show you guys my solar setup. So I've got two Flexo power solar panels. The sun is pumping now, so they're doing really well. And they are plugged into my battery system. Over here, the Brad Harrison connector. Into this Victron Energy Solar Regulator. It is working brilliantly here. So, first time I'm using it on the vehicle, normally I plug it into the trailer, but because these campsites are premium campsites, you actually get, well I'm not sure about the normal ones, but you actually get 220 power. That is connected to this extension cord, which is normally on the ground, but because of all the rain last night I took it off. And powering my National Luna ice machine, which is doing brilliantly. And this is the kitchen setup. Get a stove. Uh, in the morning, to boil water quickly, as you can see from this morning, I use a jet boil. Brilliant. It boils about two to three cups in about a minute. That over there is my electrical system with an inverter and plugs for the lights, the LED lights. That is a 60 liter National Lunar fridge, which I keep for all my drinks and ice. And we got some storage space. And this beautiful tent is from Echo 4x4 which we've, it's a rooftop tent for the trailer. And we've got these awnings pretty much all the way around, which have protected us from the rain the, couple, the last couple of nights. And I've also got an easy one Batwing 270 awning on the car, which we haven't used because we've got so much here. But the wind's pretty much been pumping the whole time. And then that's our ground tent. Yeah, that's pretty much our camping setup. Been working brilliantly. Let's see your treats. Lying in the fridge here. 
Ooh. I think ice cold coke is in order. Hmm. Fridge is set at minus two. A little bit of Mexican train going here. Coming to investigate our campsite. Right, so we're at uh, Bedunkt Waterhole, north of Nossob. As usual, seems like a, a storm is brewing, and we'll see what happens later. Again, third day in a row, but they are massive here in Kalahari. Beautiful to see. Not sure if it'll bring rain, but it's looking pretty violent. Got a nice poiky tonight, and the thunderstorm seemed to have missed us. But I'm gonna head to bed now. I just want to thank you guys for watching my videos. And tomorrow we move camp, so we pack this up and we head towards Kharahab Rest Camp, which is further north, pretty much right at the end of the Khalhadi, but we'll see you guys then. Good morning guys, <laughs> after not seeing much the last two days, we saw stuff but not much, the lions were roaring the whole night super close here, and also we just had a brown hyena walk right past our uh, fence in the camp, so we're just going to take a quick drive before we pack up to go have a look and see if we can find those lions. And I've never seen brown hyena. I couldn't get it on the camera because it was so quick. But hopefully we see those lions now. This is the brown hyena, which is in fact the most common predator in the Kalahari Trans Frontier Park. This is the first time I've ever seen one having been to the Kalahari four times. Right, so not much luck with the lions. Apparently there is one there over the sand dune. But we did see the brown hyena, absolutely beautiful. First time I've ever been to the Halahadi and seen it. It's like the game sightings are going up and hopefully it continues. Right guys, so as you can see, the car is completely full because we dropped the trailer off at reception at Nosob and we head to Kharakhab on the supposed hectic 4x4 trail, but I don't think it'll be too bad, but you're not allowed to take a trailer, so we'll leave it here and then head north about 160 kilometers to our next camp. This is Joe's trailer, and that's our trailer waiting underneath the shade. And also, we'll see them in three days. Bargain more than three hours on this route as there are beautiful game sightings along the way. 
it is very common to find hemspuck at these water holes so therefore it is really worth it to spend time relaxing here as it may be fruitful in terms of game sightings. Got some blue wildebeest arriving now. Evidence of the recent rains we experienced over the past two days were seen here, north of Nossop. As you can see, we've got some water. So clearly there were big thunderstorms last night. Had a bit of um, mud on the road. This is Lihar's dry picnic site. To this beautiful tree for some shade, protection from the heat. The social bull weaver is very common in the Kalahari and is responsible for building large nests in the Kalahari thornfeld. Yo, the Kalahari definitely had some rain. Sob River must have poured here the last couple of days. As you can see, we encountered a lot of water on the road. We are now at the picnic spot just before we turn on to the 4x4 trail. at Kharakha Breast Camp and it's situated right on top of a sand dune so I'll give you an idea of what our view is. Mm -hmm. 
and this camp is also unfenced so if the lions come through they can walk right past our unit these are our units this is my one so happy days right so we unpacked the car settled in now we're gonna go and enjoy a sundowner on the viewing deck that they've got up there because the sun rises in that direction in front of the units but sets up there in that direction so we're just going to uh, have a look at the sunset what do you think Leafy? I like it How's the coffee? dry picnic site again. Morning drive, saw some nice brown hyena and some hemp spork and the usual stuff. But we're just stopping here for a quick maybe something to eat and then we'll head back to Kharkhab rest camp. like we've got more thunderstorms on the way. Right, so we're at Union's End, which is the border between South Africa and Namibia. That's Namibia, right across the fence there. Right, so it's about 12 o'clock, which calls for a beer. Mmm, what have we got? Vintook. Another Vintook. Seems appropriate. Number beer. Number bean beer. Sure. Is it? Oh, yes. Good stuff. <laughs> See, my mates from Front Runner were here. Thumbs up to Front Runner. I don't know if you guys can see on uh, camera, but the cars are pretty. Dirty from all the mud. Ooh. 
can't see on the camera, it's so good. Been relaxing the afternoon, doing the poiki, and haven't seen much of the waterhole, spring buck, fence buck, but what a beautiful day it's been. And it's just nice to really relax after a couple of days in the car and gonna enjoy the poiki. How good does that look? We're gonna head over to Joe's place for a drink as the sun goes down because Joe and Mariki are actually going home tomorrow because their son's getting married this weekend. So we are still staying here tomorrow, but they are going. So last few moments together. But they both love the park. Mm. Uh, so we had that lamb poiki, lamb shank and it was absolutely delicious so huge success and it's about 10 o'clock now and i'm gonna head to bed so i'll see you guys in the morning unless anything interesting happens tonight i'll have to show you guys if anything does but i uh, just want to say thank you for watching my videos and don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you in the morning with another video cheers